Right now, Tropical Storm Francine is gaining strength, pushing north in the Gulf of Mexico, swamping the coast of Mexico and South Texas. You're looking at the storm's impact tonight on Brownsville, Texas, where between 6 and 10 inches of rain is expected to fall by Wednesday morning. Ten Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Duskin joins right now. Bobby, you just got an update on this storm within the past 15 minutes. 11 o'clock so. came yeah. in from the National Hurricane Center. Yeah, that video you saw is a little bit of rainfall and a little bit of storm surge combined. We're thinking five to ten foot of storm surge for parts of southwestern Louisiana right before landfall, which will happen midday on Wednesday. So let's get started with the tropics. Uh, a couple waves way out in the Atlantic. I'll show you those on the forecast models. But look, I don't think there's anything that we need to worry about. 70% chance of development of the second one. It does look like they want the recurve. That is tropical storm Francine. Started out as potential tropical cyclone six. Remember, we've had that as of yesterday, but this morning started that and by 11 o'clock it became a tropical storm. The latest numbers are still close to 65 mile per hour winds. The pressures dropped a little bit and it's moving to the north northwest at five. That has slowed a little bit and that means it's likely going to start a turn and come back off to the north and the northeast. But you can see trying to form a little eye wall there all day in the radar. It's been tough, but it does look like it's going to intensify. So this is the latest forecast track. We'll take it out through about midday into the evening hours on Wednesday. Category two with winds close to 100 miles per hour. In fact, by late tomorrow evening, we're pushing cat two and then into Wednesday morning. I think we'll get there and then it'll be making landfall. It has come down a little bit as far as intensity goes. Landfall somewhere south of Lake Charles, southwest of New Orleans, somewhere in the middle and then going right up the Mississippi River as it falls apart. So once it's on land, especially in the Mississippi. It's not as much of a wind issue as it is a rain issue, and there will still be a little bit of a tornado threat there. Storm surge, as I mentioned, five to 10 foot in this area, two to four foot back out over towards New Orleans. Those numbers have actually come down a little bit from the previous advisory, so let's hope that that happens. Obviously, the highest storm surge is gonna be just along into the east of where the center makes landfall. Big time rainfall, as you can imagine, generally on average would say six to 10 inches, but southeast Louisiana, including New Orleans, has just been inundated with rain over the last six, seven days. Got a little bit of a break and now this is coming, so that's going to cause certainly some flooding issues. Now, that's the system moving on. This is both the GFS and the European, the white and the yellow lines. Those are the other systems I was talking about. And as we go out through the end of this week and then this weekend coming up, there they are. And you can see there are the islands, so that's the idea that it will recurve. So right now, we're looking pretty good here. That's good news. Francine is where we're on. Gordon is the next name up. And guess what tomorrow is? September 10th, it is the statistical peak of hurricane season. It's about busy for this time of the year.